Hello, fellow internet dweller. This is the Lego Jack Man, and today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the entirety of the Monster Fighters theme from Lego. This theme started in May of 2012, and the somewhat official retirement was the end of 2013, but the last set to go off of store shelves ended in January of 2015. So really it lasted from May of 2012 to January of 2015. This line had a total of nine sets and four poly bags, 20 unique minifigures, and if you wanted every single set back in the day, you would be paying about $530 total for all nine sets and the poly bags. Now, what I have of this theme is the first seven retail sets. And I am missing two of them. The first one was a Target exclusive and the second one was a direct-to-consumer set. So we will talk more about that in a little bit, but let's go over each set individually. Quickly going over each set in the line, first up we have the Swamp Creature set number 9461. This set has 70 pieces, two minifigures, and was originally $7. It had the two minifigures being Frank Rock and the Swamp Creature, which is exclusive to this set. There was a little swamp build with the Swamp Creature Moonstone, a fish frog, and then Frank Rock and his swamp boat with two flick fire missiles and a tan and brown theme or color scheme to it so that is the swamp creature the smallest set of the wave then we had the mummy set number 9462 it has 90 pieces two minifigures and originally was 12 dollars you got ann lee and her little buzzer buzzard i think it's called Originally, I called it a just a mini helicopter, but I think it's called like a buzzer or a, a buzzard helicopter. And then we also have the mummy and his chariot with a flaming skeleton horse that is supposed to be glow in the dark. Mine is not, unfortunately. The purple moonstone there. And the chariot. So that is the mummy. Then there was the werewolf, one of my favorites of the line. You got Major Quentin Steele and the werewolf, who is exclusive to this set. A very awesome new mold for the time and these cool glow-in-the-dark claws. This set, set number 9463, has 243 pieces, two minifigures in a re originally retailed for $20. You got the sidecar here, and it is in a tan theme. The guns as exhaust is a commonly reoccurring detail for these Monster Fighter vehicles. And then the feature of this set was to defend the wolf or the werewolf moonstone here. What the werewolf does is launches himself. It's kind of gets stuck a lot. We're gonna push. Yeah, it gets stuck. There we go. This, what happens is that this goes like, goes up, which pushes these, and then your werewolf is launched. But that is the werewolf set, the third smallest set in the wave. 
After the werewolf comes the vampire hearse, set number 9464, with 314 pieces, 3 minifigures, and $35. Originally, it came with Dr. Rodney Rathbone, the cheapest way to get this set, or this minifigure, his really awesome looking bike with printed gray on there, flames, and then you had Lord Vampire's hearse. Glow in the dark sticker is very awesome. The moonstone is in the front with the giant's turbo charger. This host is a mix between a hot rod and a host, which is really awesome. Lid comes off to show the zombie driver minifigure here. Very awesome figure. Lots of room for two figures. And then the main feature of this set is to launch the... Van Lord Vampire out of his host. Oh, I have the lid on. There's a coffin inside. If you want to remove the lid, you are able to launch Lord Vampire in there just by flipping this tooth here, this Technic tooth, and it launches Lord Vampire out. The cheapest way to get him, but it does not come with a cape. So that is the Vampire Hearse set. The next set is the Zombie set. It was a Target exclusive for $40. And it's very odd because it retired only about five or so months after it went on shelves. But it is still a really cool set. Now it had a seventh Moonstone that was exclusive to this set and that, that makes the set nowadays way more expensive. You're looking at around $20 just for the Moonstone alone. For the entire set, you're looking at around $170. Now, the Moonstone is not the only reason why this set is very expensive. It is because it was a limited retail, but also the Zombie Bride minifigure has a very rare hair piece in a special color that is exclusive to this set. So that Zombie Bride minifigure is also worth $50. So combine that with the Moonstone, that's about $70. So 100 is for the rest of the set and 70 is for those two parts alone. It has a really cool truck for Jack McHammer that I would love to have someday and a really cool graveyard build with a cool feature where you turn the moonstone and the graves pop up with the minifigures inside. There are four minifigures, two of which are exclusive, those being the zombie bride and groom. There's also a couple of glow-in-the-dark elements, and this is one of the few sets in this wave where the monster fighter's moonstone is actually has a purpose most of the moonstones are just on a pedestal but the moonstone in this set actually helps with the function of the set moving on from the zombies we have the crazy scientist and his monster set this set was set number 9466 it has 414 pieces four minifigures and originally retailed for $50. It included a Monster Fighters car with Major Quentin Steele and Dr. Ronnie Rathbone with flick fire missiles. And this is really cool. It's a kind of like car that car seat that extends out with a flick fire missile where Dr. Rodney Rathbone can shoot. As for the lab, we have a prison cell that can be opened by attaching this chain to the back and pulling like so. See in there? Very classic for any Lego jail cell to include a door that can be torn apart. Catapult, 
then there is a scientific research area, and then we have the laser that brings the crazy scientist monster to life. It is activated either by turning the moonstone, like so, or by turning the moonstone via this gear. Now, it's not a very powerful laser. And actually, it looks like it's died for me. <laughs> yep, it's dead. So these light bricks don't last forever. You do need to replace the batteries, but there is a light brick inside here that is able to zap the monster. You can see the light brick working in my review of the set. And a very interesting top here with the thunder or lightning moonstone. That is the Crazy Scientist and his monster set. The next set is very spooky with the Ghost Train set number 9467, 741 pieces, 5 minifigures, and retailed for $80 when it released. It included Frank Rock and Anne Lee, and the Monster Fighters in the set got a plane here that shoots out toxic liquid or whatever you want it to be. Very nice designed plane. Got a hose for the liquid that is stored in the back of the plane. Fixed wheels. And then for the train itself, it does not include tracks because it is a flying train. The front here has got the face of a ghost glow in the dark green flame. It's very cool. It flies when it moves. We got two identical passenger carts, one prisoner cage, and then the locomotive with a bell. We have the ghost moonstone stored up at the front here. Lots of spikes on the side. This thing, which is, which I learned is called the cow catcher. The engine room, again, the two passenger cars with the ghosts, get three ghosts in this set. And then there is the prison car, which can be opened up like so. And you have identical doors on the other side as well that you can fit a minifigure inside of. Lots of spikes on the top. And it's a very hard to play with set, especially if you're trying to make it fly like it's supposed to, because all of the cars want to flip over like this. So it's very hard to play with as it's supposed to be, and it does not actually functionally work as a train. It is too wide to be a train, but it is still a awesome looking set nevertheless. The final standard retail set from the Monster Fighters line was the Vampire Castle set number 9468 with 949 pieces, 6 minifigures, and retailed for $100. You got this Monster Fighters car here with Jack McHammer. You got Lord Vampire with his cape and Dr. Rodney Rathbone. You got two of these man bats and you got the Vampire's Bride. This set is full of features. Just a quick rundown. You have a net launching launcher at the back of the monster fighter car with shotguns on the top the gate here can be opened but then anyone that enters can be stabbed by these spikes you have a secret entrance here that can be 
knocked out or secret exit as I discussed in the full review of the set. In the back, we have the prison cell with a skeleton that can be brought up and down. A pit of spikes that people can fall down, just like so. A map, a treasure room. Then on the back half of the castle, there is the vampires, Lord Vampire's coffin there with some nice carpet or curtain details. Staircase up. This wall can turn into a staircase, which leads up to the third floor. There is a bedroom, a laboratory, a study, and then there is a music room here with an organ, and then the mechanism to activate Lord Vampire's machine, which is going to eclipse the sun. So that is Lord Vampire's castle. And then there's one more set. And that last set is, of course, the Haunted House. Originally retailing for $180, it has 2,064 pieces. And it was the last set of the line to retire. So it had retired in January of 2015. So that's technically when Monster Fighters ended. It has six minifigures and a fully enclosed haunted house, which is really cool because usually buildings by Lego are half open in the back. But this haunted house was completely full and can be completely closed like a dollhouse. It also had a gate in the front and tons of different rooms to have a lot of different kind of situations going on. If you want to see a review of this set, I do not have this set, so I did not review it, so you need to find it somewhere else. I do not plan on getting this set simply because it is so much money. It goes for around $360 used now and around $425 sealed. So I don't really want to spend $400 on this set. I think I will stick with the seven that I have. And finally for the poly bags, there is the zombie chauffeur coffin car. That was $3.50 with 32 pieces. There was the ghost poly bag for $3.50 as well and 33 pieces. Then there was the zombie car which had 60 pieces and was a Lego exclusive. And finally there was the Monster Fighters promotional pack that was handed out during certain events. So that is the rarest Monster Fighters poly bag. That is the four poly bags, no exclusive minifigures or anything, just some extra zombie chauffeurs and ghosts. This is how I display my Monster Fighters sets here. It takes up this entire first or top shelf of this large display shelf or bookshelf here is the set number one number two three four five six and seven i have vampire castle in the center because it is the center piece i have a lot of vehicles on this side with the ghost train, the vampire hearse, Frank Rock's motorcycle, and Jack McHammer's car. I have the werewolf set and the haunted forest in the front of the castle. And then over to the left, I have some more vehicles and some 
more landscape builds, such as the lab set here and then the swamp. So this is how I display the theme. And if you take a look back at the individual reviews for each set, you can see how this shelf has transformed with me collecting these sets. I started off just taking up about half with the castle, the werewolf set, and the swamp, and then it com expanded to add that, and then everything was in front, and then I had the Atlantis sets over here, and then I had to get, uh, once I got the ghost train, I had to move things over to the right, and then it took up the entire space. So that is how I am displaying all of the seven Monster Fighter sets that I own. If I got the other two, I would need a much larger shelf. The Haunted House would take up probably as much as the castle takes up now, just not any front space. So it would need to go right here, which would mean I would need a larger shelf. Same with these zombies, it would not be able to fit on this shelf. These zombies would need to go on a separate side of the shelf, which would need a extension or removing them from here and putting them on, say, this shelf or this large shelf. So that is how I display the Monster Fighter sets. On screen right now, you're going to be seeing a picture of what these sets look like in the dark. Now, it is basically impossible to see them all in a video because the video in the camera does not pick up the glow in the dark, which is pretty funny. But I was able to get a picture with most of them, so you'll see the front of the ghost train very bright, the ghosts in the back of the ghost train and a lot of those cone pieces glow in the dark we have the vampire horses sticker that glows in the dark the minifigures lord vampire and his bride glow in the dark you can see the claws of the werewolf very clearly and you can also see the machine from the lord vampire's castle everything else is pretty faint there are some other pieces that do glow in the dark, such as the mummies, which we talked about, and the stickers of the vampire castle, but those are very, very not bright. So uh, the glow in the dark has lost its power even after charging it. But that is what the line looks like while it is dark, and that is what I see every time I turn the lights off in my room. I think it looks really cool, and it is probably... Monster Fight is the only theme, or the theme with the most amount of glow-in-the-dark pieces. Taking a look at the minifigures, we have the five Monster Fighters. Starting off, we have Dr. Rodney Rathbone here, and he is the leader of the Monster Fighters. He is also the most common Monster Fighter, appearing in three sets. We have Anne Lee, who appears in two sets. We have Frank Rock, who appears in two sets. Major Quentin Steele, who appears in two sets. And Jack McCammer, who appears in two sets. So the most common is Dr. Rodney Rathbone, appearing in three sets. If you want to take a look at the backs of these figures real quick, there's not too much back detail, but there still is a little bit, just mostly continuations of the front torsos. If you want to see more detailed reviews of each of these figures, just check out the set reviews with these figures in them. But that is all of the five monster fighters. There are no variations of any of these characters. 
taking a look at the monster minifigures, we have Lord Vampire starting off with the glow-in-the-dark head. You do get a second Lord Vampire without his cape in the Vampire Host set. And then also, there is another Lord Vampire in the Haunted House. So there's three different Lord Vampires. There is the Vampire's Bride, who appears in two sets. The Crazy Scientist and his monster, which appear in one set, so they are exclusive. Same with the Swamp Creature, he appears in only one set. The Man Bat, he only appears in one set, but you do get two of him. The Ghost appears in three sets, or two sets and one polybag. That would be a total of five ghosts. You get three in the ghost train, one in the ghost polybag, and one in the haunted house. The zombie driver being the most common minifigure out of the entire line, being in two polybags and two sets. Then we have the werewolf who is exclusive to the werewolf set. Very awesome mold for his head. And then finally the mummy who is only in one set with glow in the dark prints. So that is the monsters from the first seven sets. There are two more zombies. There is a groom and a bride zombie in the zombies set. Then there is also a version of the Crazy Scientist monster as a butler in the Haunted Mansion set. So that's another three monsters. And that's going to mean that you're going to end up with about 13 unique monsters which is very awesome one thing that i mentioned in a lot of my reviews are the colors of the monster fighter vehicles here is all of them together and this is what i was talking about the color so we have the sand green the light blue the dark red and the tan and each vehicle kind of has its own unique colors. Of course, the smaller ones match the bigger ones other than the tan one. So uh, maybe if they were thinking about it more, they could have had one of these be sand green and one of them be light blue. But those are the Monster Fighter vehicles. Another thing I wanted to point out is that there's a couple of common build techniques. For example, here we have guns as exhaust, and over here we have guns as exhaust. So these uh, vehicles have been put together pretty creatively. Lots of common elements among them. For extras that I have with this theme, I unfortunately do not have any of the boxes of these sets. I might have the box for the Swamp Creature, but it is lost. Everything else, I only have instructions for some of the sets. I am missing the instructions for the Vampire Hearse and the Vampire Castle set. These instructions followed a similar theme of having the, of course, the logo, very awesome logo, the number, of course, then having a moon in the top right of the instructions, and then having the figures and the build, I guess, the, the build of the haunted vehicle or the haunted figures be outlined in a green mist so these look really awesome especially the train it definitely makes it look like it is floating and flying when i say that i have the entire first wave of sets i guess it's not going to be in this one 
but um, it will be in this one. I mean, I have all seven of these. So these are the standard retail sets. The other two being the zombies and the haunted house set were not completely retail sets. One of them was a directed consumer set and the other one was a Target exclusive. So that's why they're not in the back here. The other instructions similarities would be this icon which shows that the pieces are glow in the dark and then on the bigger instructions you're gonna find a really cool poster here it's not really a poster i mean i guess you can rip this off but i wouldn't suggest that unless you have extra instructions you have the Vampire Castle with the Ghost Train and the Monster Fighters plane circling around it. You have Dr. Rodney Rathbone and you have Lord Vampire himself with the Bat Moonstone. Then you have the Lab, you have Vampire Castle, the Hearse, and then a lot of the monsters and all of the monster fighters so that's a really cool poster i might want to buy a, an extra copy of one of these instructions with this poster inside and maybe frame it or something i think that would be really cool the uh, monster fighters the first the the lab set the instructions are split one for the car and one for the the actual lab part. Well, that is all I have for instructions. Hopefully, the next theme overview slash review video, I will have a lot of the boxes. The Monster Fighters line is kind of odd to me, and the reason why I wanted to get it as I said previously, this set was the only set that I had when this line released. So I don't, even I don't know why I want these sets so much. But I just, over the course of the retirement of these sets and now, I have grown a very deep desire to own these sets. And now that I own all of them... It's very cool for me. You know, sometimes it is best just to always want something to, to have stuff. But I think for this line, I am very proud of myself for able for being able to complete this line. I'm not even into horror or anything, but I just really like this line for some reason. Now, one of the best parts of this line, I would say, is the mood video that kind of kicked off this wave of sets. I'll link it down in the description, but it tells the story of the monster fighters. Basically, Lord Vampire here discovers this moonstone, the Bat Moonstone, and he originally was going to give it to his bride, but decided to make a machine, which is right here, to eclipse the sun forever. And he set off on a hunt to collect all of the moonstones. But Dr. Rodney Rathbone, who is right here, his great grand fig, is what it's called in the mood video, hid all of the moonstones and knew the secret locations of them all. So he was going, he, Dr. Rodney Rathbone, and his team of monster fighters were going to go and collect them all before the Lord Vampire could get them first. Now, of course, the Vampire Castle set does have all six moonstones, but that is more just to make it easier to have a scenario with all six moonstones it just kind of makes it a lot easier so that you don't have to collect them all and buy all the sets to collect them all so that is a nice touch from lego but yeah that mood video is one reason one of the bigger reasons 
why I enjoy this line so much. But uh, that is all I have to say for Monster Fighters. If you want to see more about Monster Fighters, you can check out the video linked in the description below. It will have... It, it is by Nick from Planet Ripple, who has made uh, an overview of Monster Fighters as well. No, like, in-depth sort of stuff, but he does talk a lot about, like, the history of the line as well. So if you want to learn more, you can check out that video. But that is all I have to say for Monster Fighters. If you did enjoy this video and if you haven't seen the individual reviews of each set i have reviewed every single set that you see here i will leave that playlist in the description other than that i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button and if you really have enjoyed all of the monster fighter videos so far and if you've seen some of my other videos maybe consider subscribing but that is all i have for today thank you for watching this video and have a good rest of your day peace out